Well, sea level rise is a global problem, but its impacts are felt right here in Maine and on the local level. That's right, Tori, and a new observing program that started in Belfast is now expanding to all of New England. Uh, it aims to inform decision makers, and it's about getting you involved. I visited South Portland yesterday to learn more. We don't have a lot of data around where we're seeing flood impacts in the city already. A new program from the Gulf of Maine Research Institute is looking to fill those gaps. Citizen science uh, really proved to be a really natural solution for that because th by nature you're engaging a community and you're collecting local data. It's a call to you to become a spotter. We're looking for um, high water level data. We're looking for evidence of flooding such as like washed up seaweed or perhaps erosion, but also baseline data where the water is not flooding like today is also important. To take part is easier than ever. You head down, snap a photo on your smartphone if you have one, and you can upload the data right there. Those observations posting to the GMRI website in real time will inform researchers and local decision makers about the impacts already seen. Really importantly, it's going to help them prioritize where to focus. There's, We've got a lot of work to do when we're thinking about coastal resilience and we're just not going to be able to do it all at once. Belfast, Portland, and South Portland are in the program. It expands to Vinyl Haven this summer, but even if your town isn't officially connected, the more data, the better. How we'll use that information is, again, to build out our knowledge of the impacts that are happening in our city, what they look like on the ground, out in the community. Signs like this one are going up across South Portland this week to illustrate the current record flood level and show how sea level rise could flood this same spot in the future. It was eye-opening just to step back and see them in the ground and realize um, how high water could be in the future. A sign even on a clear day that Maine has and will continue to see storms that ravage our coastline. All the more reason to share changes that are right in front of you. And if you're interested in learning more about the program and how to submit pictures of high tide flooding, you can visit our website or mobile app. I'll have a story up there a little later this morning.